great. What an unbelievable feeling. It's, uh, uh, my family's been coming here for a long time, even when I was a kid, and, and it's always been one of my favorite places to come, and, and great people, and, and very, very hospitable. And, and uh, I didn't think, you know, on t uh, under the wire that we had the track record, but uh, when I got to the backstretch and heard the, uh, the crowd's applause, it was, uh, it's, 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 a, it's a, almost a surreal feeling. 26, I've been driving now for, uh, I guess this would be my sixth year, but uh, most of the guys uh, that are in, in, in that were in the big race, uh, I drive against on a, on a pretty regular basis. So uh, you know, it, you get to know them, and, and, and they get to know me. And, and uh, I thought I had a shot if the horse, if he went where he, where I thought he could go, I figured I had a good chance to win. I wasn't sure of a track record, but uh, what a great feeling it is to uh, to replace a guy, uh, you know, on the on the board across the in the infield there to replace uh, uh, Gary McDonald is a uh, is a uh, is a is a great great feeling well he he came from london and and london is uh, i've raced there is is very much like this track it's uh, it's it's very compact and and uh, i like my my chances because that horse showed some some really good speed there you know where he could get around a a, a smaller uh, tighter compact surface and and uh, i figured with the right trip you know uh, maybe the two hole or whatever uh, I, could, I had a really good chance. If he, if he, sh if he was as good as, as he showed, and I figured Ronnie and Jackie Mass, and they're, they're great trainers, I figured, I figured they'd have him as ready as he could be. And, and Ronnie, you know, g going through the paddock, I said, well, what, what do you think? And he said, well, give him a chance, and, and, you know, if things don't work out, they don't work out, he said. So he took the pressure right off my shoulders and, and uh, made it a lot, quite a bit easier for me. And, and like I say, when I showed the horse racetrack, he, he grabbed it, and away he went. But going through the first turn a little bit, um, the hole was almost big enough for, for Stephen Treitz's horse to get in there, uh, Mike, uh, Michael Jackson, or Joseph Michael, sorry. And uh, um, anyway, I just, I, I just squeezed up in before he could get down in, and uh, then up the back stretch. I heard the fractions, you know, at the quarter pole, and, and uh, he was pressing the issue on the outside, and, and uh, halfway up the back stretch, I saw, I saw uh, Malik Hanover tipping three wide, and, and just... It just happened to work out almost perfect. Uh, uh, Stephen Trites' horse backed off a little bit, and, and uh, I had just enough room to squeeze out, and, and when I showed that horse uh, some racetrack, he really, he really started to grab it. The, uh, well, you know, I looked over my right shoulder, and somebody was actually gaining a little bit on me. I just, uh, partway down the stretch, but um, he, he, he just kept going right through the wire, and, and uh, you know, we're not allowed to take our hands out of the hand holders, but... Uh, I said I have to I have to give a little fist pump here. It's like I said, Fredericton is one of my favorite places to come and come and, and and drive, especially well, and even more so now. But but uh, it was a great feeling, and and uh, you know I heard the the crowd erupt up the backstretch. I I thought the track record, and and uh, it's just a it's not even really set in yet. I don't think. But when you're out there, you really don't. Uh, I don't notice the speed so much. Uh, it's different if you're if you're on the lead and you know you're trying to rate your horse a little bit. But uh, the horse, he just followed along uh, perfectly. He just he drove very nice. He was straight. Like he he just drove with two fingers the whole way. And and uh, it, the thing I liked is when I did show him the racetrack. You know, I moved him out and and uh, asked him to go. He grabbed right a hold of me and and uh, he really wanted to go. You know, it's a sign of a of a great racehorse, and I think the guys are, are going to have a lot of fun with that horse this, for the rest of the, the time they have him. Um, I'm sure uh, if he stays in, in the form that he's in, uh, he's, he, the, the, the people that just bought him are, uh, are going to have a lot of fun with that horse. I'm sure he'll be making the, uh, I'm sure he'll be making the trip back to Fredericton. I would imagine that uh, next Sunday in, La in Summerside, uh, I would be thinking uh, they're probably going to pay him into the Lobster Carnival. Uh, the eliminations are next Sunday. Um, I, I'm not sure. I haven't spoken to Ronnie. Uh, it's, I guess it's just depending on how he came out of the race. I think he, I think he came out of it fine. He didn't. He seemed to do that very easily. So um, I would, I would assume that it will be uh, next Sunday in Summerside for the Governor's Plate eliminations.